and we'll talk about why uh, when we get there. So with that, let's go ahead and bow in. Bow to instructor. Bow to intermediate level student and beginner, intermediate, advanced, and or black sash that we may have at home. Welcome everybody. Let's go ahead and do that relaxed breathing. Place your feet comfortable distance apart. Hands on the lower abdomen with your lips lightly sealed and teeth gently meshed together. Allow your eyes to close. And let's start focusing on that breathing. As you breathe in, feel the abdomen go out. As you breathe out, feel it come back in. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out slowly. Be relaxed. to imagine a cascade of relaxation flowing down the body from the top of your head all the way down to the bottoms of your feet. Feel your face and jaw relax. Feel your neck and shoulders relax. chest and upper back relax. Shoulders and arms feel heavy. Stomach and lower back relax. Feel the flow of relaxation through your waist into your hips, through the thighs and backs of your legs. Allow your knees to soften. Feel your calf muscles relax, your ankles relax, and the bottoms of your feet relax. Breathe in deeply, breathe out slowly, be relaxed. Next time that you breathe out, go ahead and open your eyes and start some racing horse. For people who this is still new for, you'll hear me say it a million times, but separate your feet to shoulder width apart. Turn your toes in slightly so the outside edges of your feet become parallel. Round your knees out as you sit back and circle the arms back and around. And I, I know it is hard to breathe. Okay. So if you need to take a break, just step up. Breathe. I'll suck it up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not easy. <clears throat> Let's go to a quick posture check. Socially distant posture check. <laughs> Now just slide it down. Ooh, 
hold this for about another minute. And release, straighten the legs, lower the hands, circle the arms, up, inhale, and press the palms down to exhale. Cat hair from my mask. <laughs> they go in the dryer in August, like so. Um, okay, so um, last class we um, looked at lift hands and we previewed strike with shoulder. I'm going to run through that a couple more times. And then I think, I think we're ready to look at, at white crane stretch things. Um, as always, if that's not a good pace for you, let us know and we'll make adjustments. Um, any, any feedback from you so far? No, thank you. Okay, so let's run it from the top um, three times through strike with shoulder. Um, the first time I'm not going to say anything through it other than the name of the move. Um, and then maybe the second and third time I'll start adding in instruction as we get closer to the newer moves. Okay? All right, so let's start. Forward, strike your shoulder. Remember, you should end with your. 
your right hand protecting your groin, left hand protecting your face and your shoulder. Good, reset one more time. Step left. Commencement. Ward off right. Ward off left. Ward off right. Pull back. One question yes, on strike with shoulder. Yes, sir. Where is your focus when you finish? Ah. Where is my attention at? Yes, good. So the question, in case you couldn't hear, is where is the attention or the focus when you are at the end of strike with shoulder? Since it is a strike, your attention is, but I can't turn my face there because I'll get it in the face. So I'm here, but my attention is, is that way. I'm trying to think, do I? Sometimes my eyes don't turn, but it's, it's there in the front is, is you. where your, your axis is. Thank you. So good question. Anything else? No, thank you. Okay. White gray spreads wings. I'm going to have to re-dig in my brain as to what the actual correct teaching verbiage is for this. I just realized, I'm like, hmm, it's been a long time since I've <laughs> gone through the step-by-step. Step. So just watch it from the front. Here I am in strike the shoulder. I'm going to shift the weight more to the right. And I'm going to circle the right hand up, step through with the left into a cat stance. And when you finish, you're in a cat stance here. 90% of your weight is on this right leg. The right hand is up like you're blocking the sun from your eyes. And the left hand is going to be like you're patting a tall dog on the head. So if you're sitting, nice dog. So again, follow through, release the left heel. Circle the arm up, step through, white crane spreads wings. And you're gonna be on an angle, all right? So let's pick it up from single whip, the end of single whip. So we go through lift hands, strike with shoulder, white crane spreads wings. We'll do that a couple of times. So if you find the end of your single whip. And Lift hands, so shift back, lower those hands, turn the left toes in, shift to the left, release the right heel, open the hands, close the hands, set the right heel down, turn to the left, lower the hands, and remember they don't sweep close to your body, it's, there's still some room there. Sink down, step in, step out, heel toe, shift forward to strike with shoulder. Shift a little more, follow through so you can release the left heel, and circle the right hand up, Step through with the left foot, right palm, left palm down, right crane, right, right crane spreads wings. Reset. Lift hands, shift back, toes in. Shift to the left, release the heel. Turn, open the hands, close the hands, step the right heel down. Strike the shoulder, turn from the waist, lower the hands, sink down. 
remain sexual. <coughs> Questions? Comments? No? All right. Um, we'll demonstrate. Things to pay attention to. Um, first of all, strike with shoulder. I'm just going to change my angle a little bit. Make sure you're not leaning into it with your head. It's not strike with head, strike with shoulder. So you want this to be the, the leaning, the leading edge. But I'm still strong and rooted. If I overextend or lean too much, I'm, I've lost. I've lost that power. Uh, so think root, you know, it's leading with the shoulder, but my weight is still evenly distributed over my body. So just that's that's one thing to look out for. Uh, white crane spreads wings. Make sure your head's suspended. I don't know if you can tell, but my, my standing leg is pretty it's pretty bent. Um, I know Tai Chi is scalable, so if you need to your knee is delicate and is not letting you sink down, that's okay, but you still want to have a bend in it. Because if you're completely upright straight, you lose your tuck, you lose your head suspended, <coughs> your shoulders come up, it's just, it's, the wiring is incorrect. So if you think rooted and, and there's a bend in your knee, even if it's just very slight, that will help get that grounded, connected feeling, even if you're pretty tall, versus this. It's not, it's not this. Uh, so I will see students sometimes make this and then stand all the way up here in White Crane. That's not quite, I'm feeling pretty top heavy here. So you should still feel very rooted and grounded in the lower body. So let me demonstrate it a couple more times. Strike the shoulder. sense hopefully any questions comments suggestions anything no questions okay so let's sneak up on it let's um, go from push through single whip through white crane spreads wings we'll see uh, and again as always if I'm speeding through any of this just let us know uh, my inclination is uh, most of you at home have seen this before uh, but if you're getting stuck up on a move like I need some time time out just let us know uh, but my inclination is to go ahead and start looking at brush knee pushes as well a little bit. Since there's five of them, uh, it's good to get them introduced soon so we have plenty of time to get through them. But I don't want to rush. But uh, let's go ahead and start from push. Let's do single whip through white crane um, maybe three times. Check your belt dragons. Make sure you're good shoulder width apart. Get your tuck. And Single whip, shift back, turn, shift again. Two. Lift hand. Strike with shoulder. White crane spreads wings. Strike with shoulder. White crane spreads wings. Really, one thing that I'm going to answer now because I can hear the question coming. It looks like the hand is starting before the foot is starting, and I thought upper fellow lower. It does. <laughs> um, 
what's happening is I'm here, I've already, sh I'm, I'm shifting my weight. So even though you don't see feet moving, my weight has shifted further into that front leg, which is what allows this hand to start moving up. So I'm just nipping that one. I'm, I'm heading it off the pass because I can hear it coming. But you said I did, and it's still happening even though it doesn't quite look like it. So does that all make sense? So I'm, I'm here, but I shift a little more so that this heel can release. And in shifting, that's what starts the hand coming. So it's actually like one, two, three that's happening because sequentially that's where my body is in space and, and that's how it, it, it moves. So hope that was helpful because I can hear this question coming. All right, uh, let's do that one more time and then we'll spend the rest of the time kind of previewing brush knee brush. And single whip. with shoulder. White crane spreads wings. Release. Questions? Anything? Okay. So, um, brush knee pushes. Oh, well, white crane. Um, single whip. Lift hands. They all happen multiple times in the form. So, by getting them comfortable now, you've actually covered quite a bit of ground through the rest of the form. Um, this is by far the longest brush knee push sequence, because there's five of them, and uh, four of them from one direction, one of them from the other direction, which always feels really weird. So just know that it's going to feel really weird. We're not doing that one today. Um, like I said, I think most of you have seen these before, so I feel comfortable kind of tweezing forward a little bit. Let us know if that's not the case, and we'll slow down. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get at the end of White Crane and we'll talk through it together. So you're in that cat stance to the corner. Right hand up like you're walking sun. Left hand like you're patting a dog. You're gonna turn to the left and you're gonna rotate so that your right hand goes by left elbow. You're gonna turn to the right, left hand goes by right elbow. You're gonna sink down, step in, Step out so that you can be a double dragon. Shift to the left. You're going to brush with the left hand. Push with the right hand as you shift and turn the right toes in. Brush knee, push. Okay? Reset. White frame. Turn to the left. Right hand by left elbow. Turn to the right. Left hand by right elbow. Sink down, step in, step out. Shift to the left, turn to the left, turn the right toes in as you brush and push. One more time. Turn to the left, right hand by left elbow. Turn to the right, left hand by right elbow. Sink down, step in, step out, heel toe. Shift to the left, turn to the left, Turn the right toes in. Good. Release. So, show you. Come here. When you end, you're in your double dragons, you're in 60-40 weight distribution, 60% on the front leg, 40% on the back leg. This hand is here, this hand is here, sometimes it'll be a little higher, but roughly fingertips online with the shoulder about. Don't obsess over it, but that's roughly where they go. Uh, if you're curious about what the application is, it is a, it's a brush and a push. So if someone is throwing a punch, block the punch, push them in the chest away. So that's, so punch, push. Um, obviously we can't do applications right now, 
but I always am a big believer in using, like telling you what these moves do to help inform your, in your movement. That's why we train the applications of beginner students. It's definitely more about why do you, why, 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 versus as you get farther along in your training, proficiency at those moves is, is considered in addition to informing your Tai Chi. Okay, so let us, one more time, let's go from push, single whip, lift hands, strike with shoulder, white crane, brush knee push. And you have a nice little sequence there. And begin, single whip. Questions, comments, suggestions? On, on brush knee push, yes, where sir? they have the hand rotation is going on, what's happening with my eyes and my head? Ah, so the question, if you didn't hear, is what are the eyes and head doing as he's preparing to do the brush knee push? So I'm here minding my business, my attention is here. It kind of goes, it goes here. Even though my head, yeah, my head goes with my hands. And then it comes this way a little bit, but my, my eyes are still in this direction because that's where I'm going. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. Um, with all of these, there's a there's a distinction between, in this game, beginners, uh, white, gold, orange, plug your ears. Don't, don't, <laughs> I mean, unless it's helpful, but it, it might just muddy your waters. Green and above if you're watching this. So there's a distinction between the actual head position and where my eyes might be. So my eyes might be kind of heading before my, my head. So in this case of brush knee push, I'm here, my head turns because it's connected to my body here. Same thing here. So my head is here, it's not here, it's here. But my eyes start to go here and then my head catches up. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, thank you. So play with that, because there is an odd concept of eye spirit in Tai Chi. It's more definitely not necessarily a beginner concept, but you'll hear it and that's what it's talking about. Where is your intention? What am I trying to do? Uh, and sometimes the eyes will be ahead of where your where your body will go. Master Groin will show this a lot of times by, you know, if you're here and you have to look there, you don't have to tell your body where you go, your eyes go and then your, your body follows. It's the same kind of principle with, with Tai Chi. Good question. Thank you. All right, with that, let's go ahead and bow out of basic training. So, let's do our five parts. We follow the five parts. Faith, respect, perseverance, perseverance, patience, and, and humility. humility. Bow to intermediate student. Sorry, I beat you. That's okay. Bow to head instructor. Bow to intermediate 